Martin Ryder from the University of Adelaide is an extension officer specialising in legumes. Many growers will be considering sowing a grain legume or an annual pasture on some of their paddocks this season. So what should they be thinking about in terms of inoculating their legume seed with rhizobium for nitrogen fixation? Now in a lot of areas there may be a background of these rhizobia, but we certainly recommend, um, especially in certain conditions where rhizobia numbers don't survive so well, that farmers do uh, inoculate their crops or pastures. So for example, where the soil is quite acid, the numbers will drop quite quickly and farmers should really be inoculating every time they put out a legume. Or if the summer's been particularly hot, the rhizobia numbers will be lower, so they should inoculate. As a minimum practice for less hostile environments, it's recommended growers re-inoculate every three to four years. And across the board, if you are dry sowing your legumes, there are other considerations. When sowing into a dry soil, um, the best options are to do that in a field where that particular crop has been inoculated in the past, even if it's three or four years ago, because there'll be a background of the correct rhizobia out there. So the risk of a failure is, is reduced. Um, for the best success, um, it's good to put the inoculum as far down in the soil as possible as a granular inoculant in furrow. Last year, growers were surveyed, and while peat inoculant was the first commercial formulation for the treatment of seed, the survey found it remains the most popular. These days, there's a freeze-dried formulation that um, has very high rhizobial numbers, which is also coated on seed, a bit like the peat inoculum. Plus, there's also the option to use granules, which go in the furrow, and there are certain advantages to that, for example, with the dry sowing or it's, um, growers say it's easier to put out granules than to um, coat your seed with peat inoculum. So regardless of the formulation or whether or not you dry sow, getting seed coated with inoculum should be seen as a numbers game, according to Martin Ryder. Quite often when farmers are putting a new crop into a particular paddock, they'll use double rates, which we think there's nothing wrong with that, um, because the more rhizobia you get onto the seed, the better result you'll have. So really you need to follow the manufacturer's guidelines on storing your product and also applying it and then sowing it within a quite a short time frame after inoculating your seed so that uh, the numbers stay high on the seed before it goes in the ground.